Hi, I'm A1C Kaposi, and I'm making it my mission to trial every job that the Rhode Island National Guard has to offer. What you're about to watch is part two of me with the military police in RTI. In this training, I'm going to be hit with OC pepper spray. If you didn't see the last training, make sure you check that out where I was tasered. Enjoy. Want to explain a little bit about the OC spray, the effects it has, and why you guys train spray spray yourselves with the OC spray? Sure. Um, just like we talked about in the earlier segment with the taser, um, you know, as an individual soldier, as an individual MP, um, security forces, police officer, knowing the effects that this will have on a subject on yourself is is great training. Um, it also gives the benefit, gives you the benefit, the individual soldier, the benefit of understanding that. Know, this is not a perfect solution to mm -hmm. all the different situations you may find yourself in. However, it's very effective. Um, basically, you know, in layman's terms, they grind up a bunch of cayenne pepper and emulsify it in a, in a water-based solution. Um, this particular solution is, is a, has a water-based propellant. There are some out there that have an alcohol-based propellant, and those don't work with the taser because mm -hmm. of flammability reasons. There's no, okay. you know, there's an interoperability problem between mm -hmm. the two. So most manufacturers now make it with a water-based propellant. Um, we'll deliver the pepper spray in the eye, ear, nose, and throat area. Um, it will, it will burn. Okay. So if you've ever had the volcano lava hot wings at, you know, wherever, um, and then you rub your eyes with it, it's going to feel like that. Uh, it will cause you some discomfort both you know in your eyes and your skin mm -hmm. not permanent damage um, what we want you to do is to continue to fight so how we set up these drills are in the event that you are accidentally contaminated you know you and another officer are trying to uh, subdue a subject and use this on them and the wind catches it or you know your partner's aim isn't very good or you accidentally sprayed yourself and became contaminated um, that you can still you know subdue and arrest the subject or detain the subject. Yep. Um, so we're going to have you deliver some baton strikes on these NCOs that are set up with the pads. Normally, you'll try to spin it in your hand, okay? Keep it loose and deliver the strike, mm -hmm. okay? Or if you want to just hold it on this end, that's fine too. Okay. But you want to deliver that strike to the pad. Okay. They're going to be holding that blue pad that you just shot. Okay. Don't hit the I won't the hit soldiers, them. I'll try okay? not to. Don't hit sergeant. the soldiers, okay? <laughs> yep. Just because you're in the army and you're in the air force, it doesn't mean that we're bad people. No, I don't have okay? bad just blood. Just don't hit us. No bad blood. So you'll deliver strikes. Get back. Get back. Okay. All you're going to be thinking about is, I can't breathe and my eyes are burning. Yeah. But we will continue to encourage you to deliver these strikes. Okay. Okay. Yep. You're only going to do a couple. Okay. Like four or five on each one. You know, probably 10, 20 seconds at each station. Okay. However you want to hit them, hit them. You want to jab them, fine. You want to swing and hit them, fine. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Okay. Yep. And at the end, we will escort you to the holes, and then they'll get plenty of good footage with boogies and all that stuff. Okay. Sound good? Yep. Okay. And everybody's, uh, every individual person uh, reacts to it differently. Mm -hmm. um, I had an extremely terrible reaction the multiple times I've been hit with it. Okay. Um, but, you know, some people it doesn't affect them at all. Hopefully it doesn't affect me. Uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, Brittany, you ready? Yes, my sergeant. All right, state your first name. Brittany. Okay, open your eyes. Baton. Open your eyes. Right, there you go. There you go. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Strobe your eyes. Next Strobe station. Right. Strobe. Keep those eyes open. Keep moving. Get back. Get back. Keep going. Get back. Oh. Keep blinking those eyes. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Next Get back. station. Oh. Drop the baton. Oh. Strike. Okay, Punch! Get Keep back. Him open! Get back! There you go. That's it, you're fighting for your life, Brittany. Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Good. 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 Uh. Alright, you're done. Decon. Follow my voice. <laughs> Follow my voice. Uh. Keep walking. Keep walking. You're gonna be here walking. Keep walking. Then stop. Some more moves over there. Now rub it. Rub it. Keep rubbing. Keep rubbing. Keep rubbing. Brittany, don't rub it. Listen to me. Just oh. calm down for a second and breathe. Yeah. Don't yeah. grind it into your eyes, okay? okay? Try to yeah. keep your eyes closed and get it off your face first. There you go. Get a little more soap. There you go. Get a little more soap. There you go. All right. Get a little water in there. Yep. Yeah. Bring it right under water. There you go. Out. Just keep it there. There you go. Right. Yeah. Come on. Come walking. Follow walk. my voice. Keep coming. <laughs> the air helps it. Just keep walking. 
All right, let's go back to the hose. Come on, Brittany. All right, talk us through it. Talk us through. Um, Tell us what you're experiencing right now. My face is on fire. Okay. Um, my lips hurt. Okay, your eyes are burning. My eyes, my eyes aren't really burning. I just can't keep them open. Okay, because it's a natural reaction to want to close them shut. Um, yeah. Okay, are you having trouble breathing at all? Did you feel like you got any, like inhaled any? Yeah, I can feel it. Definitely in the back of my throat. A lot of mucus. Yeah, my nose is yep. running. I just, if I could like open my eyes, the only thing that would be the problem. That's okay, force them open. Holy crap. So how to decontaminate from these things? Copious amounts of cold water, cold air, right? A nice cool breeze, maybe a fan. If there's a cross breeze opening your eyes and turning into that breeze, try to wash the surrounding areas. Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> I think it's just Yeah, so after I sprayed you, right, your initial reaction was close your eyes right away. Yes. But were you still able to open them up enough to see where you were going and to fight, right, and continue to fight? Yeah. So it's not a 100% solution, right, to stop somebody from trying to injure you or injure somebody else. Oh, no. But it's definitely, uh, it's definitely an attitude adjuster, yeah. I would say, right? Yeah, I wanted to like get on the ground and not move. Uh. Yep, just try to get those lids open, get that get that breeze in. We got a slight breeze today. Come on, wind. <laughs> it's been windier than this. <laughs> so I, I I'll tell you a couple things, okay? It's gonna take a little bit of time to you know feel back to normal. Uh -huh. And when you go home today or later on this afternoon, if you take a shower at the office or something like that in the gym, um, you know, that water might reactivate it. Uh -huh. So I would position my face away from the rest of my body. Okay. So I don't want to lean back and rinse that onto the rest of my body. Yeah. I want to put my face forward and get it off that way. Yeah. Okay? You know what I mean? Because yeah. it might, you know, it might affect other parts of your body and you don't want that. Yeah. So I did research on this. Uh huh. And he said to lay honey, I didn't do it, lay honey on your face. Before. Correct. Is that true? Is no. Milk? I know milk is like yeah, so there milk. there are a lot of myths uh, and a lot of old wives' tales or uh, uh, holistic remedies that they that they say, but really the only thing that will cut through that grease is just a good dish soap, cold water, and and, and some you know some air to it. Um, if you put anything on it to try to induce a barrier between you and the spray, what it only really is doing is just giving it something to adhere to. So. You know, honey in and of itself is sticky. Now you add uh, pepper spray on it, you're gonna have a, a sticky, burning mess. Yeah. It's not gonna help. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. You're a Jacob Posey. Did it. Thanks. Oh. You gotta walk back, you can't get my car. <laughs> no, Terry. You might have to swim back, that might help. Oh my God, the water feels so good. I'm yeah, crazy. but it's gone, like you, I mean, you put half a gallon of soap on your face, you know, and, and use half of the water supply for the town of East Greenwich. You rinsed it off. It's not there anymore. You just got to keep your eyes open. It's hard. My eyes I know. Open. Agreed. Agreed. We've all been there. Oh, it's burping. I don't know why. It's like, like my body's like trying to like throw up or something. Never again. I know, right? Till season two. I don't know. You're going to be season two. I'll film it. You can see how it affected you, yeah. right? And how if you were to apply that as a tool to someone who was, a, you know, um, either in a civil disturbance platform or um, a, 
an assaultive person, mm -hmm. how it would kind of incapacitate them a bit, right? Yeah. But you were still able to fight through, yeah. so it's not a complete, you know, it's not a complete incapacitation. Complete. Yeah. It's definitely a game changer, mm -hmm. I would say. Did a very good job, very proud of you, and you. you know, appreciate the opportunity to come out and showcase what the MPs do, the 243rd RTI does specifically, and, and uh, your ability, so good job, good job, Thank proud you. of you. Thank you, Master Sergeant. Uh, he was pointing out, if you can see right here, where it's burning, I'm like two different colors, I guess. I can really see it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's really red. You can see it? It's like, he was saying, it's like, I put on sunscreen here. I didn't put sunscreen on the front. I was joking. Maybe it'll turn into a tan. I don't know. Hopefully it turns into a tan. It won't, but. <laughs> All right. Got it. We're good. After taking a couple days to reflect on the experiences I had with Master Sergeant Natale, I definitely have to say my respect for the military police, law enforcement, and security forces have grown even more. I've always respected them, but this training really showed me just a little bit of what they have to go through. I never thought I would be doing this as a public affairs airman. I've been told before by airmen and soldiers that they're hesitant to join the military police and SF because of the taser and the OC spray. It is scary, but if I can do it, you can do it. It just shows how mentally strong you are as an individual, as a soldier, and as an airman. If you have a job that you want me to do next, please drop it in the comments below and I will do it. Okay, I should have walked off, but I didn't. <laughs>